the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Verses 9, 13, 9 through 13 of Matthew's chapter 6 contains the Lord's Prayer, a composition unequal for our comprehensiveness and for beauty. It is a model prayer representing the substance and kind of petition proper to present to God. Our Father, he is the father of those who are adopted into his family, who puts confidence in him, who are true followers of Christ and made life. Hallowed be thy name. God's name is holy, and this petition expresses a desire on the part of the worshiper that the name of God, or God himself, should be held in proper reverence everywhere. Verse 10 states, thy kingdom come. This petition is the expression of a wish that God may range everywhere, that his laws may be obeyed, and that the gospel of Christ may be advanced all over the world until the world is filled with his glory. Thy will be done. His law is perfectly obeyed in heaven, and we, his children, should desire and pray that it may also be done on the earth. In verse 11, give us this day our daily bread. The word bread means something necessary, means everything necessary to sustain, sustain life. This petition implies our dependence on God for the supply of our wants. Daily represents the intention of our Savior that prayer should be offered every And forgive us our debts. The word debts is used figuratively. When we say our debts, it means our sins or, or offenses against God have a resemblance to debts. These offenses can be forgiven only by God. And the measure by which we may expect forgiveness is that which we use in reference to others. And lead us not into temptation. God has such control over us and the temporal as to save us from the tempter if we call upon him deliver, deliver us satan is supposed to be the great parent of evil and to be delivered from him is to be safe thine is the kingdom god has control over all things and can order them to answer the petitions thine is the power god has power to accomplish what we ask. We are weak and cannot do it. God is almighty and all things are possible with him. Thine is the glory. That is, God receives the honor or praise. It's God's glory, God's goodness, God's power displayed in defending us and providing for our wants and in causing his kingdom to be spread through the earth. God is all in all. When we approach him with these feelings, our prayers will be answered. The word amen is of Hebrew origin from a verb signified to be firm, secure, 
to be true and faithful. So as we pray, we may use the Lord's Prayer as our model. 